Hello everyone, welcome to the Information and Network Security Practical Series. In this particular session, we will study how uh, the rail fence cipher, that is the keyless cipher works and the practical implementation of rail fence using uh, Python language. In one of my videos, I had shown the this implementation using Java. In this, we will see the practical implementation using the Python language. So, uh, what? how do we do this? Suppose we have a plain text message like that it is given catches win matches. We want to encrypt this uh, using the rail fence cipher. So what we do, we arrange this uh, plain text into zigzag way. As you can see, catches, so C, A, T, C, H, E, S, catches, then W, I, and win, and this is matches. So we arrange this in zigzag order. Okay, so catches, and then how to uh, get the cipher text so we read it row wise so in the first row i have marked this green so c t h s i m t h s so this is the uh, this is the first row and this is the last row so this entire part this part this part this entire part it is our uh, cipher text so this is the plain text catches win matches and the one which we get after this is the cipher text now let us see how we can do it uh, practically using python language so thus this code will be explained by professor yasira hello everyone today we are going to go through the rail fence code line by line now the very first line that is string is equal to input enter a string this line basically students prompt the user to enter a string and it will store it in the variable called string the next line student that is the df rail fence txt this line basically defines a function by the name rail fence now see students we can see over here it it is taking one parameter called txt basically this is not going to be used within the function instead the function seems to be working with the global variable that is the string which we've declared earlier the next line students result is equal to we have kept him uh, kept it an empty it is basically initializing an empty string variable called result it will be used to store the rearranged string the next line is the actual code for rail fence that is for i in range length string this will start a loop that will iterate over the indices of the characters in the string now see over here if i percent to equal to equal to zero this will check if the current index i is even now see students in python uh, the percent operator is used to calculate the remainder of the division the next line that is result plus equal to string i now here if the index i is even it will append the character at the index i of the string to the result string the first for loop students over here the first part it will rearrange the character in string by taking all the characters at even indices first okay the next part that is this particular part the first line over here in this part for i in range it is basically starting another loop now it will iterate over the indices of the character in the string now the next part over here which is i person to we have used not not equal to zero okay it will check if the current index i is odd the first for loop will check for the even part the next is checking for odd if it is true then we will have result plus equal to string i that is if the index i is odd then it will append the character at the current index i of the string to the result string now basically the second part for loop that is the second for loop will rearrange the character in string by taking all the characters at odd indices next we can see return result this the function basically will return the result string which will actually contain the rearranged character based on the pattern of even and odd indices and at the end last line print rail fence string we are calling the rail fence function with the input string and we are printing the result of the function which is the rearranged string overall guys this code implements a simple rail fence cipher but of course there are some limitation so let us just see the execution of this particular code over here see it has prompted me to enter a string let's take a string smile can you see 
this code rearranges the character based on their even and odd indices 